hello creative just a quick one here before you watch my next tutorial you've got to watch this one all right so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to extract files that's psd file all right so when you download psd file from the internet from site like freepick.com you've got to extract it before you'll be able to use it as a mock-up in your project and in my coming tutorials i'll be dealing with mock-up tutorials so I want you to watch this and familiarize yourself with this app before we delve into that. So this is the app that we'll be using in this tutorial. We'll be using Z Archiver and I'll leave the link in the description so that you can download it. Alright. So let's assume you went to freepick.com to download a mockup which is a PSD file. And we know that PSD files are mainly for Photoshop. Alright. Are meant to be used on photoshop but however we are still using them on our smartphone using photopia.com all right so after you've downloaded the psd file from the internet it is already zipped so when it is zipped you can't use it in a photopia.com you can't use it over there you, you first of all have to extract it to get the actual psd file as of it so this is what we're going to do i've already downloaded a sample of the psd file which has been saved so i'm going to use the z archiver app which is here i'm going to use it to extract that file for you to see and from there we, we take it up to photopia.com which will be my next tutorial i'll be uploading so you probably have to stick through to this video watch it carefully and familiarize yourself with everything so let's go into it so we open our z archiver app then you probably have to locate your download folder all right the folder in which your downloaded files are being stored you have to locate it first once you locate it then just open it and in my case i will locate my download folder open it then i'll go through and select the file that i've already downloaded and in this case it's one of these mockup all right for book cover so i'll just have to locate it and i will extract it for you right here to see All right, so here is it hardcover book mockup with plants you can see you can see at the end it is written zip or even on the folder it is written zip okay that means it has been zip i can't use it in a photopia.com unless i unzip it so just tap on it cool you don't need to do anything and this option will pop up like this we have view extract here extract to extract test compress all right Compress is used whenever you also want to zip a certain file. Whenever you also want to zip a file, you use the compress. But in this tutorial, we are going to use extract here. Extract here simply means that when you extract the file, it will be located in your download folder. It will not be sent to any other folder. All right. So for the sake of simplicity, so that we do not compress any other thing, we will use extract here so that whenever you want to locate a PSD file, we will just come to our download folder and we'll be able to locate them. I hope this is clear because we'll be using this in our subsequent tutorials. Alright, so get this clear and let's move on. So we click on extract here. Now it is extracting PSD. So this is the name of the PSD file. 333, that is the name of the actual PSD file the book mockup psd file that is the name of it so it is extracting we wait for it to extract to 100 percent then we are good to go all right i've already extracted it once and i've used it so it is asking if i should keep the duplicate of it or i should replace the previous one all right so i'll just click on replace or i can click on skip all right but for the sake of this tutorial i'll just click on replace so that we have it right here So we have our 333 PSD file. So here is it, 333 PSD. That's the actual PSD file. And mind you, you can open it right here directly unless you go to the photopia.com and you import it over there. And that's what I'm going to show you in my subsequent tutorial. So make sure you stick through to this channel 
and keep supporting us keep sharing our videos keep liking commenting the more you like our videos the more youtube algorithm will let other people to also have access to our videos and watch and get to know what is going on all right so keep sharing keep supporting the channel and i'm going to see you in the next tutorial bless up